Images are not real and appear only on your television screen. This is Adam Volker at Moonbot Studios, and he was lead creative on Dig's Nightcrawler, and he did all they just told everybody what to do. This is William Joyce, Academy Award winning founder of Moonbot Studios, and he was the guy with the torch in the woods who helped guide me through Dig's Nightcrawler. Moonbot Studios is really about trying to do things that we've never done before, and <laughs> even if we're totally unqualified, uh, in fact, the less qualified we are, the more excited we are to take on something. What's exciting about Wonderbook is you open it up, you look at the screen, and there's a world that's not there. It sounds wonderful. And it's amazing. You're turning pages to advance the story. I feel like as a metaphor for a mechanic in a game, that is awesome. The story advances when you turn the page. Whether it's through a book or through a film or through a game or through a Wonderbook game, we want to tell a good story. We want the player, the viewer, the audience to come along with us through a narrative. The first thing that happened was Sony came to us with the Wonder Book, and we wanted to tell a detective story. And who better to be a detective in a book but a bookworm? Humphrey Bogart as a bookworm. The star of the show. Star of the show. You're a bookworm, and you're a detective, and you're going to solve book story crimes. What would be the least likely group of people that would be film noir? Yes. Yeah. And then Mother how do, Goose. How do we put them in there? Yeah. I mean, Humpty Dumpty, Mother Goose, Little Po Peep. They have gats and guns and femme fatales and they talk, you know, out of the side of their mouths. Police, we're looking for Nightcrawler. That seemed fun. And the contrast was really cool. Games sold separately from Wonderbook, PS3 system, motion controller, and camera. PlayStation.